Okay, so we're on the 13th day. Let's see, check. And that is Abigail's birthday. We were waiting for that. So we need to make sure we go and see Abigail today. Here is a recipe from my saloon. I only share this with my good friends, Gus. Now we've got some cranberries today. So this will be a, a bit of a richer day today then. The other cranberries are starting to ripen up as well. And we have our last apple. That is all we need. Bunnies, hello, I love you. Please drop me a foot. Please, please, please. Please, 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 please. Please drop me a foot. Hopefully when the baby rabbits grow up, they might drop me something. Uh, more fluff, more rabbit fluff on the floor. I'm making sure I stroke the rabbits every day and making sure that they're happy, well-fed little bunny rabbits. So hopefully they'll start to like me more and be more likely to drop a foot. But no foot today. I'm checking every day. I'm like so hopeful. <laughs> and then my hopes get dashed every day. Dishy Lab, you're such a good neighbour. I thought I'd send you over some animal feed to make your job easier. Keep it up, Marnie. Thanks, Marnie. That's awesome. Can I put that into the silo? Yeah, that's fantastic. Good job, Marnie. I'm going to pick up all the rest of the eggs from the duck coop. By the time I've done that... Uh, Pierre's will probably be open so I can go and see Abigail. Got some more truffles. Thank you, pigs. You're doing well with the truffles. Got three today. That's very good. Do not eat the truffles. The truffles are too good to be eaten. Oh, what have I done with my bucket now? What a pain. Right, let's go and collect the duck eggs. Oh, and I've got a feather. Why isn't that a rabbit foot? We still have a lot of days to get to know our rabbits, so hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be able to do something with them. I checked on the uh, star fruit and the strawberries and everything. Oh, there's a lot going on in here. That's good stuff. Could uh, pick the sun sunflowers because we'll get sunflower seeds back. So they're almost like free seeds for them. That's good. And we've got all these star fruits. Uh, I don't know what to do with them though. Do I put them back through the seed maker? And try and see if I get like, if I can multiply them up. For now, I'm just going to keep them in a chest. I'm just going to keep them in a chest and I'm going to work out later what I want to do with them. I'm just going to make sure I don't eat them. That's the main thing. Five, six, seven, eight. So I got back exactly what I planted as well. So if there's going to be any multiplication of them, it'll be happening through the seed maker. That's going to take a long time. I don't really know what to do with that. Hmm. Okay, never mind. Let's go to the community centre and put the apples in because that will make me feel good. We might, not, we might get a cool present as well. Oh, did we have Abigail's amethysts? No, we don't. Where did I put those? Oh yeah, they'll be in the chest. I nicely prepared earlier with all of the cool stuff in it that middle one um, amethyst there we go 
and off we run look how much nicer this farm is looking now it's just starting to all really come together isn't it I'm enjoying the look of it now so I have a quest to give someone a star fruit but I'm just like I don't know where I'm going to get new seeds for these star fruit and I'm kind of worried a train is passing through uh oh yeah Abigail that was I was like why am I going to Pierre's and I actually needed to go to Pierre's. Hi Abigail, it's your birthday. You remember my birthday, I'm impressed, thanks. And I gave you your favourite thing, so now do you love me? Six out of ten, yeah, cool. Do I have any scarecrows on your farm? I do, indeed, yes I do. Okay, time to go to the community centre and give the apples in. And then we're just waiting on those pesky rabbits. Or the travelling saleswoman. <sighs> so close. One more star. Bundle complete. Rewards. A heater. Oh. I don't need a heater unless I get another barn. Never mind though. Now just the rabbit's foot. Makes sense that it would give me a heater because it's sort of a fodder bundle so it's like all to do with animals. Cool. Now then. Who else can we go and see today then? Let's see, is there anyone else around that I've got stuff in on me to give them presents? Okay, give. I'm going to give you an egg. Because I know you kind of like eggs. This is cool, thanks. So I've got four out of ten just from giving eggs and speaking to him. I think you can find salmon in the river this time of year. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to be river fishing. Right, that's the rest of my day sorted. Right, Corthok, we're going to go down to the river and we're going to see if we can get some more salmon for Alex and then we can get him his favourite thing, which is a salmon dinner. And that's going to be very handy. Now, did we give um, Elliot all of his pomegranates? Elliot, it'll be right down the bottom somewhere. Yes, we did. Cool. We did that earlier in the week. I'm going to see if I can get a couple of salmon. Yes, that worked really well. That's a totally a salmon. Be a salmon. Be a salmon. It's a tiger trout. I wanted one of those ages ago. Don't need them anymore. I need salmon now. That looks like something rubbish. Smallmouth bass. Get tons of them. So many. I can't believe I made my salmon into sashimi. Sucks so much. But I'm going to do lots and lots and lots of river fishing then. Because that is going to be where I'll catch my salmon. Good to have something to aim for. Whoa, whoa. You're fidgety. There's a salmon. Let's see if I can catch another one. It's all good for my fishing skills, so that's something I definitely want to work on. That'll be a smallmouth bass. I can tell what they're going to be almost by the way they behave. Yay! Okay. 
Well, we made, we got one salmon. I don't want to waste the whole day doing that. What I want to do is go and get a few more presents for people. And then hopefully I can start getting some of them to ten hearts. Oh, and I need to harvest my cranberries as well. Oh, I have to be quick. Right, now I put a lot of stuff in this chest here, didn't I? That was all stuff for... for her Popper's Autumn's Bounty. No, actually I don't want to give that away because that's quite good. Duck mayonnaise, that's handy. Strawberries are handy. Oranges are handy. Wine. Fish can go away. Oh, I hate doing this. I feel like I'm undoing all my good work when I when I do that. I'll take some gold bars for Clint as well. Let's just uh, pop over here. A sunflower, just in case anyone likes flowers. Uh, could take a tulip in case we see Evelyn. Um, some eggs, eggs are always good. We don't need quite so many of them. We could get a tulip. We're running low on tulips actually now. We're running low on a lot of the flowers. I should have been making flowers uh, down by the honey. But a lot of things I should have been doing and I haven't. Oh, I've still got the fried mushrooms in my inventory. That's good. Let's go and see Evelyn and George. We'll go see them first. Caroline, you can have a sunflower because I've finished giving them to Haley. I do not want to eat it. Come back. Gee. In fact, I want to talk to you as well. Is it just me or does Abigail play too many video games? I don't know. Maybe I'm a little old fashioned. Yes, probably you are. I'm happy to buy whatever you produce on the farm. Yes, I do resell it for a profit, but that's the benefit of being an established shop owner. Don't get any ideas. Gee, that was a bit aggressive. Right, Evelyn, I got a tulip for you. Gasp, this is absolutely marvellous. Um a large egg. You like eggs. All right, he's had a gift today. Oh yeah, I did, didn't I? I gave him a gift. And fried mushrooms for George. This is my favourite thing. Thank you. Why do you only like me two hearts still then, if it's your favourite thing? I've given it to you a couple of times now. This weekend is no different than any other time for me. Oh, three hearts now. That's how it is when you're retired. You've made an old lady very happy. Are you friends with Alex? Sometimes he worries me sick. Oh, bless. What a shame. You shouldn't worry your grandmother so. Got to have some strawberries here. For you. Hey, now this is a really gift. great gift, thanks. Uh, have some wine for you. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. And have a chat. Decorations accentuate the feelings of the season. I think it's a worthwhile tradition. Okay. Jodie tells me you've really become a part of this community. I'm glad to hear it. Okay. Are you much of a chef, Sheila? 
If you have a kitchen and some recipes, you can cook some useful dishes. Home-cooked meals make great gifts as well. Yeah, I know that. I don't have any huge plans. I prefer not to stress about the future too much. Okay, well that's nice to know. Um, but I have an aquamarine for you and I know you like those. This gift is fabulous. Thank you so much. Right, so how is things with everyone now? So Emily, uh, Marnie and Jodie are like my best friends. Sebastian and Haley. Demetrius is right up there as well. I could get another beer for Shane actually. Um, do you know what? I shouldn't have come in here so quickly. I should have gone up to see Robin and them first. Ah, oh, Pam, get out of my way, seriously. Would you do me a kindness and clean up my house? Just kidding. I can't go anywhere. Oh, thank goodness for that. Where's Corthok now? Right, let's get up to Robin's house quick. And then we can come back down to the saloon. Just trying to give as many presents out as possible before the week turns. Hi Robin, would you like a strawberry? They're yummy. No, I don't want to eat it, I want to give it to Robin. Thanks, this is really nice. She's at five stars. It's possible to get people up with just liked presents. Uh, is Demetrius and Maru there? Maru's in her room, but that's fine because we can go visit her in her room. Is that a oh, wowshi lab? This is spectacular. Let's go and chat to her as well. All these falling leaves will provide food for mushrooms and other small organisms. Interesting, isn't it? If you say so, my dear. Where is your father? Ah, there he is. Cool. That was very handy timing. You're giving this to me? It's amazing. Let's see. Perhaps the nitrogen fixation level is affected by nematode secretions. Oh, sorry. I was pondering some data and didn't notice you there. That's kind of cool, though, because he's actually telling me what he's thinking. Do you need anything? No? Robin, do you want to chat? Our house is in such a beautiful area, don't you think? Yes, I do. It's lovely. I love the fresh air of the mountains. Okay. We are getting there now. We are starting to get there with people. People who aren't Elliot. Okay, I'll go back to the bar and I'll give out some beers to people as well. And hopefully that will mean that the majority of people have had their two presents this week. Well, it's a hard life being so sociable. Spending your entire evening in the bar. Penny, come here. Give me, give me some sashimi. I'm giving you some sashimi. Don't eat it. Give it to Penny. Oh, she's had two gifts. Okay. Some people I have given a lot of gifts to this week, but I've really been quite lax. So I'm kind of running around chasing my own tail at the moment. Right, Marnie, have you had gifts? Have you been to that strange tower west of my house? I have. One time I heard this terrible otherworldly noise coming from there. I would avoid that place if I were you. Rasmodius is a lovely person. Nothing to say, nothing to say, nothing to say. I'll buy a beer or two. Which I shall give to Pam, who shall have it. No, she's had two gifts. Um, I could try giving that to Willie as well. Shane. Um, Willie likes beer. I'm sure I bought... Oh, okay, a ruby. I think I've tried rubies before and he's not like them, but we'll see. Oh no, he does. He likes rubies. Cool. So how are we doing now for social? Sebastian hasn't, Haley hasn't. Gus, Jas, we've missed. Harvey, we completely missed out on. He only needs one more heart, so we'll work on him a bit next week. The wizard has had, Leah has had. 
Clint, we're about to give him one. Sam needs some work as well. Alex needs a lot of work. <laughs> and Elliot needs a lot of work. Oh, but we're doing it. We are working really hard on the social right now. Did I bring an orange? Yes, I did. Fantastic. He's speechless. He actually doesn't have anything to say at all. Um, who else? We gave Marnie. Gave Clint. Gave Shane. Oh no, we haven't given Clint anything yet. No, oh, no, we've only given Clint one, one present. Okay. I can't give him another one today. Sometimes I wonder how I ended up in this town. Well, I don't wonder. Move if you don't like it. I'm renting my room for Marnie at a really good price. It's small, but I can't complain. Yeah, compared to everyone else who has massive rooms. Oh. What are you doing, Abigail? He's laughing at me. I guess you're wondering why I'm in the graveyard at this hour. Well, considering the rest of the things you say to me, it doesn't surprise me. You're a bit of a goth. Well, I'm here because it's the best place in town to find some privacy. I don't blame you. Uh, privacy is nice. And I'm all sweaty because I've been practicing my swordsmanship. Your what? Hey, what? You think I'm too weak to swing a blade? No. Sorry, I guess I'm getting a little defensive. You see, I want to explore the mountain caves, but I know it's too dangerous to go there unarmed. You've used a sword before, haven't you? Yes, but only in self-defence. Sure, I don't want to kill anything either. I just want to do a little exploring without risking my neck. I've lived in the valley my whole life, but I've never really done anything memorable. I want to go on an adventure. I don't blame you. I'm going on adventures all the time. I can't really say anything, can I? Abigail? Your dad's caught you. Dad! I've been looking all over for you. Your mother wants you to come home and help with dinner. What are you doing in the graveyard anyway? This is no place for a young lady. Mind your own business. You think I should be at home cooking dinner because I'm a girl, don't you? You're really stuck in the past, Dad. <laughs> Let's get out of here, she love. Yeah, Pierre. Let's get out of here. Well, are you coming or not? Come back! <laughs> Bless him. Okay, my dad won't find us here. This is like the longest cutscene ever. Sigh, can you believe my parents were ever young? They don't understand my perspective at all. I know, I know. They grew up in a different era with different values. It still ticks me off sometimes, okay? Well, thanks for hearing me out, Sheilab. Um, now could you help untangle my hair from this bush? Okay. Longest cutscene ever. And I think that's going to be the end of the episode. We did really, really well for social again. Um, need to spend a little bit more time in the mines. Go back to Calico Desert. Um, just tons and tons of stuff to do. Ah, I've got an entire cranberry harvest to get in by like one. Quick. Let's do this thing. even if I just need to get them off there because otherwise if, if I don't harvest them then they're not going to reset the timer on getting new ones through so I need to do this tonight I need to be quick with it come on quick 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 Quick, 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 quick. 
hurry up, hurry up, and then we can go to bed. Okay, nearly there. Okay, bedtime for Sheila. <laughs> that was like the fastest harvest ever. We did that in 50 minutes. Sheila's awesome. But unfortunately, I don't have time to sell them. So we'll just have to sell them in the morning. So we'll have another day of being poor. But that, my people, is the end of the episode. So I hope you liked it. And if you did, then please leave me a like in the comment section below. Um, if you would like to follow along with the series, then please leave me, please subscribe to the channel and then I can let you know when new episodes are out. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.